Yeah, apologies for that uh, false start a moment ago. Of course, those of you watching this on YouTube will have no idea what I'm talking about. I say that because while this is being recorded as a live stream, it is in fact going to be posted on YouTube as a first let's play of... Metal Walker for the Game Boy... Ah, oh, damn thing. For the Game Boy Color. A surprisingly good game. It's uh, made by Capcom. Why do I have a set to... Ah, that's that. Okay, now I'm actually going to go for the canon name for the main character, which is... Uh, Tetto, believe it or not. There's no mention of this in the game, it's only in the manual. Which I meant to be tracked down online after surprising difficulty. Yeah, so, uh, this is, as you can see, the intro. Yeah, well, I will be using save states in this playthrough, but not in the typical ah crap I died, saves lo load state kind of way. The kind of, uh, I'm going to show this off because otherwise I would have to play through the game four times just to show all the things that could happen. Nothing major, it's just a conversation with an NPC that's, ooh, stuff is happening. And, uh, yeah. I have no idea how this is going to come out. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, so, um... NPC dialogue. The usual thing. What? Okay, he has four eyes. Damn them! Four! Four eyes bad, etc. She's like some kind of freaky spider woman. Ah, oh, convenient. So, and to explain the uh, interface, HP is health, level is the level. Typical experience system. Uh, 50 pounds at the bottom, that's currency. Post apocalyptic waste blender, you just scrap metal as currency. That's pretty cool, really. Okay, this is actually a really good idea. Also, that guy has no eyes, but he has a cool mustache. Games like Pokemon, you get two versions, which are pretty much exactly the same game, just with different encounters. With this, you can get the game, then pick either version. That's the difference between these two. They will give you different enemies. But, uh, you can also transfer data between games to get one, so... Reddit? Actually, no, I'll go for the green one, I think. I don't think I've actually done it with the green one properly yet. This guy is very much similar to Professor Oak. Unsurprisingly, I mean... Well, he's kind of a typical RPG guide person slash scientist. Yeah, so call units, I'll get into what those do later. Ah, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Uh, she's somewhat of a typical damsel in distress character, because spoiler alert, she gets kidnapped eventually. Now, analyzers, these, I'll get into what that does in a moment or two. Thank you for calling me an intelligent barbarian. Yeah, so scanning a metal bus, I will explain uh, momentarily. Talk to the man upstairs, eh? Well, um. Hello, God? No? 
Okay. Yeah, guess Liz had up here and. Uh, is that a visor? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. What do I have to sign to start? Okay, so. Items were currently have the analyzer that was given. I'll explain that later, like I said. Diaries used to save. Scan data. Well, currently don't have any. And yeah, this is um, our current robot, Metaball. Or Metal Ball or something. Yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, visually not indifferent from a Sniper Joe from the Mega Man series. Also by Capcom, of course. I think I can now head outside. Farewell, Mustache Man. This, I love this music. This is a difficult game, not because uh, enemies are tough, but because, well... Three, four, five, six, seven... Ah. Because once I want to show off how high the encounter rate is... As you can see, technically I'm still in a town here, but I'm still attacked by it. Okay, now the battle system is really unusual in this. As you can see... Rather than the menu of attacks, I've been uh, sort of given an angle. As you can see, that's an analyzer. That is Buster Minion. Let's take a closer look at it. Land type. I'll get into what that means when uh, eventually encounter other types. As you can see, it's kind of uh, a ball with ears and the tail. We can move around kind of sharpish, but that's about it. So the battle system is pretty much billiards. Is it cooler than that? Now let's use a HP1 capsule which restores its health, if used. It's actually a challenger in this game where, um... That wasn't lucky. Well, the goal is basically to, uh... There's a couple of them, actually. One of which is to complete the game without getting any scan data. Which means no healing items. And the other of which is to, uh... Well, can I bounce this guy into... Yes! The other which is to complete it only using uh, our current robotic companion. Okay, so three experience points, five scrap. More importantly, HP1, but more importantly, this is our base, by the way. This thing repairs you. This guy explains what that does. Yeah, so scan data. You get that from analyzers. You can then take that to uh, this guy here. He can then. Uh, oh, did I not scan it? No, I didn't. He can then um, create items from that. It's not a case of you get one scan data, you get one HP. It's a case of getting the scan data unlocks the HP capsule to use. So then, uh, cacti, tree stumps. Or possibly rocks. Okay, so chemical plant is the first area meant to go to. Okay, let's see if we can't trick this thing to going into the. Perhaps I can't. Ah. Well, anyway. Um. Yeah. So. Chemical plant is the first area meant to go to. Uh, pretty much standard first area thing. A few enemies and a boss. You see, now you see what I mean by the encounter rate. It is really high. If you're in buildings, still encounters. If you're outside, still you still get encounters. I most RPGs have no particular reason for why no one stood around outside. And ooh, good. And everyone's in buildings and such. This actually explains it in that uh, there are giant robots everywhere. It's really not a good idea to go outside. Uh, so for those of you watching this on YouTube, or for those of you watching this on live stream, you will not see me grinding. For those of you on YouTube, when I do grind, I will upload it uh, very heavily sped up, with no commentary or anything. It should just give you like a rough idea of how much grinding should be done. To probably die horribly, which I will likely do many a time. Like I said, this is a really tough game. I've never actually 100% completed it. I've actually gotten to the final boss. 
I think my current sort of main saving about um, one area away, I just need to grind up a lot more and get a particular item that isn't essential, but I'm just after getting it for the sake of completion. Yeah, so this is our goal, chemical plant. Uh, there's some dialogue here that's quite funny, if you drop down to this guy. Yeah, so as you can see, the battle arena isn't just uh, a box. With that, I'll uh, try and flee from this one to demonstrate. If you go through the open area at the top, that uh, exits you from the battle. If you knock an enemy into that, it has the same effect. As you can see, catch are being thrown automatically now. There, later on, there is a way to just uh, control when they get thrown in. I'll probably get the um, chemical plant, fight the boss, then, and then call it a day for this video. Slash live stream, which shouldn't take much longer. It's not a particularly difficult fight. Cancel is a bit of a wake up call if you've been uh, playing it's like a typical RPG and not grinding a whole lot. Yeah, so, um, really a whole lot of other gameplay mechanics I can get into without spoiling anything yet. And, hey, level up! Okay, so to explain what all the stats... Actually, I might as well explain what all the stats do quickly. Okay, so attack is the base attack, defense is the base defense. As far as I'm aware, uh, there are modifiers depending on what type you are. As you can see, M Ball here doesn't have a type. I mean, that it, um, be that actually does become useful right near the end of the game, though. Okay, so move is how fast it is, and weight is how heavy it is. In other words, something with um, something with basically a high move and high weight. Well, basically, move controls how uh, much you can move. Weight controls how much knockback you take. Let's quickly show off the scan data. And the symbols here I can get into a bit later, because they're based sort of enemy types, certain enemy types that can. Um, be upgraded or downgraded by items you can pick up later. Actually, a stay that drops one of them, funnily enough. Great timing game. Scully can basically downgrade an enemy into a weaker version. Obviously, it doesn't work on everything. Actually, fighting up. There's an upgrade version of those later that drop uh, the equivalent item, but instead of downgrading the enemy, it upgrades it. Yeah, so I'm not just heading back to the. Uh, See what I mean? Oh, no, not this thing. I'm probably going to die here. That's air type. And that's a really powerful item. Let's quickly show off. As you can see, type sky. Um, <coughs> if memory serves, sky beats earth. Earth can move quickly over any terrain. Earth can also move quickly on ground. Uh, there's another type we'll get into later. For the time being, however, Pick up the bomb and use it on this guy. I can't believe the enemy sprites in this look really cool. There's a whole lot of sort of well-designed enemies that look pretty unique. How about what five sprites each at least? Well, one of them is mirrored, but anyway, as usual, uh, front sprite, back sprite, and uh, directional sprite that's also mirrored. Then one for uh, when it's taking damage and such. Yes, we now have our first scan data, meaning that we can now buy HP1 capsules. For the time being, I'll get four analyzers, four HPs. Okay, so these I'm going to temporarily bear off, basically means that you don't use those in battle. For now, there's a few enemies that are matter analyzing, so... And plus, close enough to base that I don't much need to you with the uh, healing items, I'll save those for, before I fight the boss. At this point it's important to manage things like that, however later on uh, it's not as important, it's not as important but still, you know, pretty handy. Uh, as later on, rather than the... Uh, ah, damn it. Rather than just using it to, um... Rather than just using it to uh, 
control what you do and don't use. Well, I'll get into that when we get to a solder upgrade later on. It's not so much an upgrade as a setting that can be changed. Yeah, so if you uh, prefer to have it like this, you can turn it back. Again, I won't spoil what it is, because it's uh, probably going to be a good few parts before we can find it. As you can see, you also can't analyse yourself. You already know what you are. No philosophy required. Okay, that's one of the stranger things that I said, no philosophy required. Not the strangest, but still, you know, pretty odd. Hey, another enemy. Let's see. I think the minions have very sort of basic AI, that means that you can't lure them. And they're kind of too thick to be uh, fooled. And so this is uh, another enemy. Actually, we might as well get a closer look at it. Marine type, that's the third type, basically, and uh, marine type move quickly on water but slowly on land. Or rather, they move more on water than they do on land. Land moves more on land than it does on water. Air moves fine on uh, both types of terrain. So, um, the marine type is kind of tough at this point, as I think land is weak to marine. It's kind of very basic elemental rock, paper, scissors. I forget which way around it is, though. Because it hasn't actually hit me, fortunately, yet. We may find out now, though. Yeah, it's Earth beats, um. Ah, it must be uh, land beats marine. Marine beats sky, and sky beats land. Yeah, it is that, because there's uh, a really, really annoying enemy later on that's uh, sky type. That you, f that you pretty much only ever fight on land. When it's highly impractical to use marine cores against it, because you just don't really move very far. This is another marine type. Let's see if I can just knock it straight into this one. Not quite. Yeah, that is a thing though. If um, they hit you, no matter what the context, you take damage. Okay, so I use it so item against it. Uh, that is a thing, you see. If bosses put down items, it is occasionally worthwhile to use the item purely so that they can't. Okay, so that then moves to avoid our attack. Actually, I think it might be worthwhile going for the uh, item again. Let's give it that bit more damage in. And finish this thing off. How much more experience do we need to level up? 14. I guess we can continue through here and... Uh, Ideally, you want to be about, about level 5 when you uh, fight the first boss, but. Well, I'm probably not going to actually just going to make it that. Uh, alternative battle music when your health is low. Chances are I will, I will be hearing this a lot. You, you caught a moth. Thunder 1. That does a lot more damage to um, water types. Okay, how many more hits can we take? Three. This is not going to end well. Oh, unless. Yeah, that's fairly damaging at least. Oh. Yeah, if you die in this game, then um, yeah, scrap metal is halved and you return to the last base. Well, the last base you've hit, anyway. I mean, it's possible to travel a pretty long way and sort of lose everything and have to forward track through everywhere. <laughs> M balls HP becomes to 33. That's good to hear. Yeah, see, we're lightweight, therefore you can basically knock us around really, really easily. And let's see what Thunder does against him. I actually can't remember. Yeah. Not half bad, actually. Okay, he's probably going to knock us. That oh, maybe not. It is occasionally strategic, strategic to bounce yourself off a wall first before hitting the enemy. If you land up in a straight line, which will reduce the knockback they take. And therefore reduce the chances of them hitting you. Oh, this is another uh, major NPC. As you can see, because he actually has his own sprite. 
He's kind of like Gary Oak, only a much nicer guy. Strange person, you say? Curious. I just forget what that Slimer item does. I actually do have a couple of save files on the go of this game at the moment, and both of them are quite a way past here. There's one that's at pretty much the penultimate area, but I need to do a lot of grinding on it. There's another that's, um... Kind of generally... Uh, not quite halfway, I'd say more about a third. And this is really any reason to backtrack, uh, apart from much later on, because a couple of items that you do need to backtrack fairly significantly to get. Hey, level up to three. Yeah, level ups are pretty much constant, by the way. It's not always going to be that, but um, say that your stats are raised by X amount on one level up, then you get the equivalent stat boost in pretty much every possible form. Because, spoiler alert, there are different forms in this game. What did I do that for? There are actually different forms in this game. We get to play a bit more when we uh, can actually take a different one, but for the time being. Yes, yeah, this is very much uh, Songs in the Key of Panic, really. None of that, but this is actually the only boss that. Okay, that's very much sneaky. As we probably couldn't have a direct hit from that. Can we... Uh... Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, direct hit from that can wipe you out pretty much in one hit. And you saw how much damage you did to him. And I think we're at time advantage. You've already forgotten the matchups, idiot that I am. So, uh, we may never know. Unless I go and look them up or something between parts. Yeah, so no idea exactly how long videos are going to be for this. It's going to be inconsistent length, probably. I'm not going to set any definite goals like it'll be X amount of time. It'll be X time long, or it'll go to the next X or whatever. Oh no, these things! Fortunately, I don't think these things have like a proper combat capsule. I think the crane just uh, moves you around or something. Yes, yeah, so there are a few types of items. There's um, analyzers. They're the only ones of that sprite. Then there's uh, the scroll ones, which are traps. Uh, there's the ball with question mark, which is what these do, which are kind of effects, for want of a better word. Then there's the ones that um, are the ones that uh, B Minion used. That are generally bonuses for be it uh, to your health, be it damaging, be it whatever it be. I really should have. I really should have got more uh, health capsules before coming in here. I am probably going to die to the boss at this rate because it is surprisingly tough boss, as I've said about twice so far, probably. Yeah, so um, really isn't a whole lot to talk about yet. This is kind of a fairly standard post-apocalyptic plot, or at least setting. And that uh, a lot of people seem to be living in warehouses and such, giving you the typical repurposed buildings and whatnot. You set up camp wherever you can, because you yeah, can sort of build camps later on. No kind of customization thing, it's kind of building that goes whoom, and then it's there. And the world we suddenly moved a lot faster then. For experience and scraps worth 20. Hurra now do you see what I mean about the encounter rate? Oh no, that's gonna. Is that gonna. Oh, I'm glad it didn't. Really, kind of glad it didn't clip the uh, thing at least. Yeah, well, they look, we can get hit in on this thing as well. Gold fashioned physical hit to the face. Hey, good. Okay. This is where I kind of. Oh, never mind. We got that. Yeah, I'm out of healing items. 
So I will probably die horribly to the boss. Oh no, we still have one left. Convenient. And the boss is kind of, uh, well, there was a barrel on our way in, and the boss is just through here. The encounter rate, like I said, is really crushingly high. It, this is what Crane does, basically. Does it switch places? No, it just teleports you. That really... Uh, it teleports around and kills all momentum as well, which is convenient in times like these. Ah, oh, that was my ball pee, wasn't it? None of that. This isn't going to kill him, and I'm going to knock him clean out of there. Ooh, no, useful. Yeah, I'm still saving a few of uh, combat items for use against, against the boss. I see what you mean, though. There's a very strange man with his uh, mysterious pointy hat. Two of these, fortunately, like I said, these are one at kill, and skull cap scolia capsules don't do anything. At least not to us, anyway. They're, they're purely to be used against certain enemies. It's a pretty neat game mechanic. I mean, imagine if in Pokemon you were against the Elite Four, and you could devolve one of uh, Lance's Dragonites into, back into a Dragonair. It's kind of that kind of thing. Except it's more sort of radically different enemies, and obviously you get less experience because you're fighting a weaker enemy. I believe this is part of the uh, exposition. And without further ado, it is boss time. So, flick all our items to on. Hopefully, I can analyze this gap. If it's not, it's not the end of the world. That's the most pathetic evil laugh ever. Okay, what's that that's currently in play there? I'll see bomb one, I'll risk it. Damn! Okay, now if one of these can actually use, um... If one of these can actually place there... Maybe not. Looks like I'm going to be fighting the full boss. In all his glory! Bee Panther. Who is actually an upgraded form of a regular enemy that uh, we haven't fought yet, and I'm surprised by that. Ooh, can I get a scan data? Firstly, just check out how cool that sprite looks. Very risky, but let's see if I can't uh, get his data. <laughs> ah, success! I think even if we die here, we keep that. Yeah, stones is a pretty useful attack, really. I think. Okay, so what? I can't remember what it does. Okay. If I angle this right, then we can bounce through this and hit him. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Plus it lends up at a good angle to hit him back. How's he doing for... Oh god, I forgot how much of a tank this guy is. Watch as I die horribly to him. Oh, that's good. That's very good indeed. 50 damage. That's a good chunk of his health gone from his own attack. Hoist by his own petard, I believe the phrase is. Not that it... Oh, cr Not that it matters, because he is probably going to kill us horrib... We have a chance. He shoots. He scores! That is the first battle over. Or well, the first boss fight. Later on, you can actually change uh, what comes up when you win. Something other than just, I did it. Which sounds kind of lame, really. You destroyed it and got a lot of experience out of it. <laughs> Two levels! Whoa, I was under leveled. Uh, I know it's kind of the hair thing, but it looks like he's got a pointy head on his sprite. And also some kind of visor over the back of his head as well as the front. 
The noise of a metal buster could be heard. Where are you to hear it, anyway? That's the first question you've been asked, man. Like I said, similar to Professor Oak in that he's the uh, authority in researching the current Mon in the game. To use a TV tropes term for everything to do with this sort of thing. He's kind of... He, he did not run, he just teleported. Who do you think he is, electrical beast? Now this thing is one of the core units of that computer on the left mentioned earlier. So I'll uh, show off this, then probably end the part. As you can see, it boosts all our stats, so there's no reason not to use it at this point. And upgrade us to M-Frog. We can break an oil drum now. Where have we seen one of these oil drums before, I wonder? Right there. It's in the left direction. People should talk about that in real life. Boom! So I shall uh, flee this facility in... Actually, I think you have to talk to this guy first. I shall flee the facility, save, and then uh, end it off for here. So next time we'll be returning to our uh, base camp. A good rival, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have a rival, but... Looks like I'm reaching base camp sooner than expected if I die here, which I probably will. This thing is a lot more powerful than the regular form, as you can see. Oh, new sprite as well. I already showed you that, didn't I? Of course. Uh, yeah, so I will probably die on the way back to the base type place thing. Obviously, hopefully I won't, but... You know, high encounter rate, low health. And the Actually, how close are we to leveling up again? Quite a way to go. Alrighty then. So then I shall return to base camp and end the video off there. So that's going to be a long one, 35 minutes. Hopefully YouTube will accept that. Yeah, we can afford to take two more hits total. We're doomed. Uh, very doomed indeed, all things considered. And I actually generally like to be this low when I fight the boss. I mean that I am really under... Can we make it? Yeah. Right now I was about to say, you watch, you'll be hit by an encounter when we're right outside it. The game beats me to... Ooh, convenient. The game beats me to it. Yeah, so I guess in between parts I'll... Uh, Actually, there's no point in grinding up to level 6 yet, because I don't need to be level 6 for a little bit. So I can get. So we just get here, hand in our neck, hand in our um, stuff. We have new scan data, huzzah! Yeah. We have to get 9 of those, 5 of those. So, next time, we shall head to the uh, left direction and see what is over there. Let's save first. Uh, as you can see, there are three types of core, and three types of, uh, well, three basic elements. I wonder if those are related somehow. So that okay, we'll go outside and then we'll save. And that will be the end of the video. Game saved. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. End of the stream as well. For